Reacting to Philomene and Kant being Philomene and Kant. I, was, I saw one compilation of this and I knew that that was very good. So let's see. It's a planet I'm literally on right now. <laughs> and unless you're watching this on a long haul flight or while falling off a building, chances are you are too. To find I mean, out. I do. But if you're falling off a building, you're still on More about Earth. I've got an expert here with me. Or have I? Or am I here? Maybe I'm imagining them, or they're imagining me. Or am I? Galileo Galilei. Yes. That's like me being called Philomena Philomena. Do you just learn the famous bits to be or not to be? Or do you learn all the bits in between as well? Are you fucking yeah. joking? Oh, wow. How many three wives in Who knows? <laughs> the Egyptians believed the most significant thing you could do in your life was die. <laughs> Ouch! Oh, no, I saw a thing on YouTube after 700s and long Christmas peaks. They just give them different names so you think oh. they're still going up. Do you want me to send it to you? It's <laughs> twice as big as the others. So it looks like he's enjoying an intimate dinner with some schoolboys. Not good luck. Looking at the pyramids today, it's impossible not to be struck by the thought that they're basically big triangles with a sort of square arse. Yep. There's probably a word for that Very shape, much. but literally no one knows what it might be. It's one of the many timeless mysteries of the pyramids. I think therefore I am. What about other people? Do they think therefore they am? How can I tell if they're thinking therefore they am? Or am I just thinking they think therefore they am? But actually they're not real and I'm only thinking they am. Are you thinking therefore yeah. you am right now? Oh, it was much, much bigger than that metal then. Yes, it was. What about acid jazz? Acid jazz. Her neck's very long. Was she part giraffe or could he just not do necks? No, her but it also preserved glimpses of how sophisticated Roman life was, with creature comforts like indoor plumbing and conilingus. Oh. It was hard to come up with a brand name for human flesh, wouldn't it? In his later years, Beethoven was profoundly dead. <laughs> it's quite moving in human, because we've all worried we might die in a car park if we, like, lose the ticket and can't get the barrier up and just die in there. Shakespeare makes you think about those things. And that's hard. Having a sandwich, that's an idea. Painting your bicycle blue, that's an idea. Going... <laughs> Pompeii was so advanced it had its own volcano, which is Latin for angry hill. <laughs> One moment to another. Physical systems in, well, everywhere in the universe changes its state. And that change takes place in what we call time. And that's the only... What was the winter solstice? It's the winter solstice. 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 You got it. Rich in the asshole. Someone starts loading pigs into a catapult. A space <laughs> invader floats across the room, <laughs> shitting a harpsichord made of glass horses onto the floor. Every single word of that was unexpected. That's pretty impressive. <laughs> Obviously he went deaf when he died, but was he <laughs> deaf when he was still alive? Yes, he was profoundly. <laughs> but not dead. He wasn't dead. He wasn't dead when he was alive. No. 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 Nice. Men in vans still whistle at women in the street. Though thanks to feminism, the man in the van might be a woman. And the woman they're whistling at might be a prime minister. It's for William, mm -hmm. the son of John Shakespeare. This is a bit like who do you think you are, isn't it? It is in a way, yeah. These, you know, if, if you're tracing your family history, these are the records that will give you the information you need. But he'd sort of call it, who doth thou thinkest thou art? They were called things like Rinnig, Rispica, Rispaba, and Nuspacucca. <laughs> Yet despite all this attention to detail, a quick inspection of his back half reveals he doesn't have an anus. It's a baffling omission. Galileo's full name is Galileo Figaro Magnifico, isn't it? The government's advice was getting more confusing by the day, which was clever in itself because confused people tend to stand still going instead of moving around spreading germs. And if they cough, 
their hands are already over their mouths. <laughs> My mate Paul wrote a story about a man who got a, a new potato stuck up himself following another guy's sex game. And he wrote that in the form of a limerick. I'm entering a cave, not by mistake or because I'm a wolf. Renaissance. Was that a sort of 16th century capture? Right now, it's a normal virus vaccine that's on trial. We'll have to wait to discover if it's guilty or not. Why do Christians oh, nice. call that special book the Bible? The Bible? Is that how it's pronounced? I've literally never heard anyone say it before. It's just with the red nose. <coughs> and put it sort of on his intimate skin. And it sort of tore it and it went septic. Yes. Actually, I think that... What makes you think the moon isn't real, though, for me? It isn't. I don't know if you've done your own research, but my mate Paul sent me a video <laughs> that exposes the whole thing. That's good. Can you prove the moon exists? You can't, can you? That's why this is the only place in the world where I can be in the past and the future, with the present running right up through my middle bits. And that must be terrible. Can you imagine what it would feel like to be sucked off through a hole? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's Hello, Fides. How are you? Why do they say it's a mystery how the pyramids were built when it's obviously just big bricks in the triangle? Yeah. To discover whether the true meaning of Christmas has any meaning today, or whether that meaning snapped off somewhere along the way, leaving it meaningless. Mm. Whatever that means. Bars. Okay. Not to make a really good Christmas. Yeah, so. It just looks like sort of. Cheers. Cheers. You know when you read a word in a book and you sort of hear that word in your head. How do they get the sounds into the ink to make it yeah, play in your head? And an iconic scene in which Macbeth is startled at dinner by the unexpected appearance of Banquo's ghost, played here for some reason by the letter H. <laughs> which of you have done this? How probe Shakespeare's life, study his complete works, and speak people of the English if they saw his penis, they'd probably have a stroke, wouldn't they? Probably. I don't think that would have made it onto the meat. <laughs> That's not a joke. Here in this garden in Kent, Darwin saw an apple fall from a tree and wondered if there was a monkey up there. <laughs> oh, wow. pay a fortune for that. John Bishop's kidneys. So. When you think about it, Thinking about Finky is the hardest sort of thinking there is, which makes you think. I hold out to his yeah, windows. Yeah. I'm about to say. Next time on Moments of Wonder, I'll be asking if air is really there, how come we can't grab it? That was a very good video. I mean, I had seen a lot of those clips, but they did seem pretty funny. <laughs>